Hello and welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarping, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is how to chart a hypothesis test on Tableau. Here, we will not go through the calculations. The calculation is much easier on Excel. And by the way, we have a video about that, and the video is in our video description. We will be working with different scenarios with different p-values, and then how do can we chart it? So some ideas on how to do that on Tableau. So here, basic of hypothesis testing, we go uh, deeper on that on the Excel video, but here we have the rejection region based on alpha. So if our critical value or our p-value that's based on critical value is on this orange area, we reject it. But for a, a lower tail test, for a, an upper tail test, for instance, I want to see if my actual sales is lower than my average or my or the uh, industry average. Or I want to check if my revenue is greater than industry average. And then we come here to uh, this area being the rejection, the positive one. Or I want to test if my revenue is different from the industry average. Then we go alpha divided by two or half alpha to each side. And then we, we use the T distribution usually to calculate it. And then if we go to our Excel file, on this data, we have here our calculations with our formula. So you can go that later. But our scenario is that the dean at a large university wonders if students at the university study less than the national average of 24 hours per week. The, the first scenario is the dean randomly selects 35 students and asks their average study time per week in hours. From their res responses, the dean calculates a, a sample mean of 20 hours and a sample standard deviation of 8 hours. So based on this first scenario, we reject the new hypothesis that they study equal or more than 24. So yes, they study less than the national average. And then here on Tableau, we have six additional scenarios. Where in only at the last one we fail to reject. However, we can compare these scenarios and we can check. Well, I don't know if if we go on more students, we will get better results. Uh, in theory, based on our normal distribution and central limit theory. The greater is the sample, the better are my results. And the average tends to be equal to the population, so to the whole population of students, not the national population. Okay, so let's go to the Tableau. Here on Tableau, we need to grab our Excel because Tableau is not a database and we are working with Tableau file. So here guys, we can do anything that we want. I will give you some ideas. So the first one is some scatter plots. And here, what can we do? So the first is the p-values. We have the sum here, don't worry about it yet. And then we want to check if the greater is the sample, the lower is my p-value. But have a, well, only one dot here, but we want to split them based on scenarios. Scenario 1, 2, because the scenarios are here. So what do we do? Let's just refresh here, and then scenarios, we go on color. And now we have one color for 
each one. And here, let's rename it scatter or p value. And then, okay, not so here, based on sample size, the greater the sample, also the greater is my p value. So we are coming to rejecting the hypothesis to not reject the hypothesis anymore. And that is what we should have. But not only uh, the sample size, let's go to the sample mean. A second scatter plot. Wow, a lot of numbers here, and then the standard deviation. However, see that they are here in huge blank space. How do we fix it? Double click on the axis and uncheck the include zero. And then we can come here. So here also, here not that much, but the greater is my, uh, or the greater is my standard deviation, the lower is my p-value. So if my standard deviation is too long, we tend to reject our uh, hypothesis. In simple mean, we do the same. And here, the greater is my scenario, the greater is my average. Only here that we don't have that much here. Okay. And then here on the sample size, we can do the same. So here, okay, we have a brief view and we can come fit is much better to see one huge one up here. And then a second chart that we can work with is a chart here, our chart. Uh, is a charge considering the scenarios if we reject or fail to reject. And the scenarios are on H0. So reject or fail to reject and we go to the p-values and we want to split them by scenarios. Whoa, one scenario here that we fail to reject and some that we reject. And then we can go here, scenarios in colors as well. And we will get the same colors as the p-value. So here, p-value based on scenarios. And here, that is a good one, so a yield. And then here it goes from 0, 0, 002 to 0, 0, 006. So here, a very nice view, by the way. And we can expand it if we want. And then a third and a fourth, so they are quite the same. We can go here on sample size and check. And then remember, scenarios being the color, uh, how is the behavior? So the greater the sample size, the greater the mean or greater the average. And we double check here, include zero. Whoa, see, skyrocket here. So here be mean, and then we can duplicate it. It will be easier standard deviation. So we replace mean by a standard deviation. Wow, we can have them here too. Or here the standard deviation. And then we can combine them on... Or we can combine them here. I like that. So let's delete this one mean and standard deviation. 
deviation. So let's add the standard deviation here. And then we can also add the scenarios as filters. Apply, show filter, and apply to worksheets all using related data source. So it will go to all of these. I don't want to check all of the scenarios. I only want to check one or two. And then we can go on a dashboard. So here uh, we can go on hypothesis testing. And then dashboard, show title. And then we can come on this one here first. Nope. Here and then the mean and the standard deviation. Pretty, huh? I like it. And then we can come here on only checking scenario one, only scenario two, three, five, and seven, because the other one I don't think they are very good. So we can change the scenarios here. Like it, guys, as I, as I told you, there are tons of ways to chart it. This is one way I like the most, so you can create your own if you want. And by the way, Excel and Tableau files, they are free, and the link to download it is in our video description. Okay, guys, have a very nice day. And God bless you. And by the way, questions or comments, just leave, leave them here or email me, okay? Thank you so much and God bless you.